Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to link your LG TV with WebOS operating system to your Amazon Alexa speaker. In this case, I'm going to do it with my TV, which is an LG OLED CX with WebOS 5.0 operating system, although the process is nearly identical for all WebOS operating systems that are compatible with Amazon Alexa. To begin, we need to download the LG ThinQ app, which is available on both Android and iOS, and from which we will link our TV to our mobile phone. To prevent any problems with the linking process, I recommend, right from the start, having the TV connected to the internet and connected to the same router as your mobile phone, whether it's via cable or Wi-Fi. In this case, my mobile phone is connected to my router via Wi-Fi and the TV is connected via cable, but as long as they are connected to the same router, there will be no issue and will improve the whole connectivity situation. On the first screen of the app, as we're seeing, we'll have to log in. You can do it however you want. I'm going to do it with Google. It's more convenient for me since I have it saved directly. I only have to select the account. In this case, as you can see, after a few moments, it takes us directly, there it is, to the main panel of the application. Once we're here, we don't have to link the television. In this case, we click on Add a Device. It asks us to be able to do it both by QR and by selecting it manually. In this case, I'm going to do it manually so we can all do it. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. It means that the product is on, so we click Next. And now what it will do is a search for the devices that we have turned on. For example, I have the TV on, as you can see. So, as you are seeing directly, I have found a TV. Below it indicates that I can manually select the product, but as you can directly see, I already have the television. So we click on television, and now to link it, as you can see, it's asking us for a small number. In this case, we enter the number 62771143. We enter this number to be able to link. Here it is, we click on link. Now it's doing the configuration, and once the configuration is done, it brings us directly back to the application's main screen where, as you can see, I already have the television activated and from where we can access and manage the television as we wish. Once we have the television fully linked to the LG ThinQ app, and from here we can turn it off, turn it on and operate it, we're going to exit and move to the Amazon Alexa app. Inside here, we must go to Skills and Games, and we need to search for the LG ThinQ skill. So we search, we search for LG, and it pops up immediately. LG ThinQ, LG ThinQ Basic. We download this skill and activate it. We give permission for its use, and now it takes us back to the LG app to link the two accounts. In this situation, you'll need to input the same information as before. In this situation, since I've signed in with Google, I'll sign in with Google again. I use the email address that I registered with, I re-enter the password, and once I've confirmed it's me logging in, as you can see it shows the LG Thank You account, it's been linked appropriately. We close it out, and now we're going to start detecting devices. We initialize detection. What the speaker is now going to do is try and detect the TV in conjunction with LG ThinQ since we've set it up there. So we wait for a few seconds to see what it finds. Once the search is done, it doesn't matter because I've already verified whether or not it's found devices. But if you go to devices, as you can see, it says a television has been detected on top. We select to view it, and as you see here, we have a new TV device from LG Electronics, an OLED 65CX, that is. It has located the TV directly from the LG ThinQ app. Right now, our TV is already linked with Amazon Alexa, so we're going to give it a test. And once we've thoroughly linked the TV with Amazon Alexa, we can start doing different things. For example, increasing and decreasing the volume. Alexa, increase the volume. Okay. Alexa, set the TV volume to 16. As you can see, we can handle it however we please. We can also play and pause if we're watching a video. For instance, Alexa, pause. As you can see, I'm on YouTube and it's paused. Alexa, play. And the video starts playing again. This is pretty useful. If we're watching a movie and we have to get up for something, we can just tell it directly. Of course, we can also turn it on and off. Alexa, turn off the TV. Alexa, turn on the TV. Now, after a few seconds, the TV turns back on. 
there it is. HDMI 1 is set, which is the default one I've put. Since no input source is detected, it's going to set the screensaver now. Like it hasn't detected anything. There it is. Also, if the TV is on, one of the things we can do is mute it directly. Alexa, mute the TV. There it is. As you can see, it's completely muted. Alexa, unmute the TV. And as you can see, the sound is back on. So guys, that's it for the video. As you can see, the actions are pretty basic. Turn on the TV, turn off the TV, mute it, change the volume. In other words, we can do various things. You can also change the channel if you have the antenna on. The thing is, I don't even have an antenna on my TV, so I haven't been able to show you. But you should know that if you're watching digital terrestrial television, you can tell it to go to the next channel and change channels directly without any problem. So guys, as always, I hope I've helped you. If so, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And that's all from me for now. As always, it's been a pleasure. See you in the next video.